Hey there Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. I hope you guys are doing really well this evening or morning, wherever you guys are in the world. Alright guys, let's begin with some initial messages here and just see what Spirit has for you today. Okay, we've got two cards coming out. We have home and then we have soulmate. Hmm, okay, let's keep going. I don't know why I just heard the name Lonnie, Lonnie Ann maybe, or Lonnie. Okay, so somebody could be, you might be in a soulmate connection. If not, it looks like this person. Look at this. Well, we have three cards that came out together here, so I'll take them. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Okay. So, honestly, you might actually be spending some time at home, okay? You may have actually, you might be, have had some kind of falling out here with a soulmate or with someone who you thought was a soulmate. I mean, it could be a soulmate. Somebody is obviously heavily focused on you and potentially you to them is what I'm getting here. This person is actually wrapped around this other person, okay? But you can see that that's more of a silhouette of another person. Um, it's not real, right? But it is imagery. So the person is thinking a lot. It appears about, um, well, just about you is what I'm getting here, okay? Potentially your beauty, all right? Your beauty or, you know, even if you're a male, your um, handsomeness, okay? Regardless, I think very much so thinking about, I just heard grace, okay? So maybe you, someone... I feel like someone self-sabotaged this, okay? That's what I'm getting very strongly from the cards here on the end. Um, it looks like a lot of pride might be involved at this particular moment. It's probably keeping you guys either in arguments or at arm's length, is what I want to say here. Somebody could be spending a lot of time isolated or, is, or at home, but it looks to me like this person is actually looking probably at their phone, maybe looking at pictures, okay? So maybe someone's looking at pictures or old text. Um, okay, I'm being told for some of you guys this will actually be a current situation. Maybe you've had some kind of falling out or argument here with someone here and they can't stop thinking about it or can't stop thinking about you. This might just be their current feelings as well here. Something's holding them back though and I think it may, may have something to do with, well it obviously has something here to do with pride, okay? Um, a lot of pride here, really trying to hold their stance. I just heard that you are as well. Okay, so you might be also trying to hold your stance in this situation or hold your ground, I should say. Stand your ground. Um, yeah, definitely some self-sabotage and went into this situation. And that's probably what broke it apart. Okay, notice this here. This person is actually in the grips of something else. Okay, you see two dark figures here holding this person back somebody here might have some addictions you know but it could also be something like you know uh, i won't go too much into past hurts and stuff like that but we obviously know unresolved issues just pass on right we just continue to regurgitate those in in situations that mimic the last because they haven't been healed and i feel like this may actually be the situation for someone in this particular situation here okay Maybe someone is finally figuring out that it was self-sabotage, okay, that created um, the distance or the fights or something like that in the situation here. Hmm, okay. Give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. One fell on the ground. So we have the strength card here, the sun. This is all about empowerment. You may actually be using this time here to really kind of um, bolster yourself, empower yourself. Uh, perhaps, you know, moving forward, finding the strength here to kind of just keep moving or moving forward. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo too with that card. Yeah, look at this. Man, you can't make it up, okay? Yeah, some kind of higher self activation is going on. So some of you guys might really, this may have actually, huh, this could have very well sparked within you some kind of, um, some kind of spiritual journey, honestly, if you weren't already on one, but certainly some kind of healing has taken place here. A lot of you guys are really very much so stepping into your power here, tuning in uh, quite a bit here, I feel like, to spirit, to the divine. 
okay um, figuring some things out is what I'm getting maybe even about this connection here yeah you might be well look i mean you got a cards here of strength empowerment courage okay also change it's saying that you might be changing things this person's leaving i mean you can see that this person's actually packing up and leaving now you obviously do not have to be actually physically leaving but you could be all right but you're definitely going through some kind of changes here you're making some kind of changes here you could be leaving someone okay if this is a situation where you're still in it and you have to actually move out um, or you've decided to move out to get away from this situation you could certainly be doing that you could also be traveling okay whatever it is you're changing the situation you're changing the dynamic I want to say the situation um, and you're also changing yourself is what I'm getting here so you're probably also going through your share of changes as well but I feel like you're on a journey to some kind of new start here thus far yeah look at this yeah Capricorn I mean here's the deal I mean I think you're looking for something that has um, definitely more of a solid foundation here that's what you seem to be focused on here okay you're you're becoming very empowered I feel like within yourself um, this may have taught you actually a lot for some of you guys I feel like this was probably a difficult lesson you know especially here in the 3d but honestly your spirit your soul is getting that and and this is a huge accomplishment you get to move beyond that right and because it I feel because of whatever happened here too I feel like you're able to kind of free yourself and make some very important changes here so you may actually be leaving someone behind and this may be why this person is looking at the pictures looking at the text regurgi regurgitating uh, some of the the conversations perhaps that you had and really thinking about being with you I get the word grace again that's just blowing me away okay so that maybe you're a very graceful person or maybe you were very graceful in how you handled it with this person maybe you've shown them grace even when they were not being um, very good to you something along those lines here okay anyway it looks to me like you're definitely focusing on change and on your stability here um, I think you, you're really focused on building a very strong foundation, even if it's with somewhere, yeah, with someone else. Look at this, though. Yeah. So this person may actually just have a big lack mentality, all right? They could obviously have a lot of doubts here. I do think that they may be potentially thinking about, look at this, yeah, they think that you've ended a cycle here with them, okay? They can see that you're going through some kind of changes. They may be viewing this as some kind of completion here like you just left you know what I'm saying like you just left you just checked out of the situation you just kind of cut the cord you know I think this person would like to have unity with you though I think they would like to transcend this situation let me get a couple more what's going on with this person spirit what happened here what happened here I see look rebirth maybe one of you guys tried to have some kind of rebirth here if not i think this person's going to definitely i can already see they want some kind of unity maybe they're understanding and focusing on the fact that there was some self-sabotaging in this situation here maybe they're praying that you have not ended this cycle because they definitely feel the shift in you okay so i think they've got their eye on or at least are hoping for some kind of rebirth now this could also be you okay going towards a rebirth okay but i feel like the changes are already being made certainly within and it looks to me like you may have already made some actual physical changes as well as what happened in this situation i get someone's shadow side was very prominent here okay somebody could have very well could be going through some kind of dark night of the soul as well okay at this point that's probably why they still have some of these lack, some of this lack mentality or some of the doubts that they do but i think somebody here could have been very much so acting out of their shadow side um, honestly the shadow side is very self-sabotaging though when you think about it right so if this person's had bad experiences in the past okay they could have taken that out on you maybe they had some jealousy issues maybe they had some 
issues of going out and partying or addictions or something along those lines. Whatever it was, maybe they're, yeah. So something I get very strongly is maybe they're like a perpetual, perpetual runner too. And that again has a lot to do with unresolved issues, right? If we feel safe, we don't run. Um, when we don't, then we will bolt out of situations, even ones that we want to be with when we feel either we're not going to get what we want or um, when we start to feel inferior in some way, shape, or form. What happened in this situation? Yeah, see? I'm telling you. Yeah, this person has a lot of light mentality, obviously, very much so in their shadow side. I don't, listen, I don't know your person. I don't know your situation personally. This is very, very general. But again, I think operating in this kind of lower energy had a lot to do with the outcome, okay, that came here. Again, this person has very limited way of thinking here, all right? A lot of limitations, a lot of fears when it comes to moving forward in connections. You could have been dealing with a Taurus Virgo or another Capricorn here, okay? But this person is... Now, we have an ace here, which tells me that they're wanting to have some kind of new start here, but it also tells me, no, actually, this tells me about them because I'm asking what happened with them. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this person may be also watching you kind of do that, okay? They might be watching you have a new start. Maybe you're starting a business. Maybe they're watching you rise up in your, you know, and be acknowledged here in your company or something like that. Very determined is what I'm getting. Um... And even moving forward, getting your own new start here, okay? Maybe this person has all kind of fears as well when it comes to that, but I'm specifically asking around this. I think this person may have wanted something more stable with this particular situation. Maybe they wanted to have like a, a whole start with you. Say that you're friends, but they wanted more with you, okay? And they were so afraid, I feel like in this respect here, to kind of take the leap here. They just have a lack mentality, okay? All kinds of doubts. I know that it has to do, okay, I'm hearing. Okay, so this is actually not just, this could go way back, honestly. But I definitely believe it has to do with a more recent uh, situation, relationship, where I feel like there was a lot of heartbreak associated with it. And this could have been someone they were, they could have been with this person for a while, but what I'm really getting from this is, wow, I'm actually, I'm getting a lot of energy on this. This person, so the person that, whoever they were with, they could have been very, um, oh, very demeaning, I want to say, very cutthroat almost, honestly, in the things that they said, the things that they did towards this person. They could have really kind of taken them for the ride and they could have been in love with that person, okay? So I think it, it really shot this person down in a sense. I'm not giving them a pass. I'm just letting you know kind of what happened here, where their mindset is, why they're in all of this lack mentality. Because I'm going to tell you something. I feel like you have a star here. And what I mean by that is I feel like you have someone who is a strong person, is generally a competent person. But when it comes to matters of the heart, I feel like they definitely do have some limitations in terms of their thinking. And that is definitely due to the past. Most definitely. So if you guys broke up and tried to reconnect, have a restart in some way... Um, and maybe this is something that they're still thinking about here, but I feel like that has really held them back for that. Maybe that's what they've been hoping for. Yeah, look at this. You know, we've got the dark night of the soul over here, and now we have karma and rebalancing. And I think that's what they're going through at this time, to be honest with you. The dark night of the soul is all about rebalancing, right? We go through it so that we can begin to see things clearly knock out some of those things you know what i'm saying generally that um you know old thought patterns conditioning hurts you know our own behaviors things that, uh, you know things along those lines and rebalance okay so they are going through some some sense of karma right now to be honest with you and i don't think it's very easy on this person that's what i'm getting but i think it's going to help them so much in terms of their own growth well, actually, I know it's going to help them so much in terms of their own growth. It's going to help them to rebalance, but they probably feel, if you haven't talked to them in a while, they probably feel like they've been through a lot. It can feel quite exhausting to actually go through something like that. And it also is challenging because it, it, it really does just challenge everything that you believed or that you thought you knew, okay? 
Um, you can feel very, very anxious going through it. So it's not an easy time, okay? But honestly, that is the justice, right? Rebalancing the scales, getting things back into balance here. So I want to look at, yeah, see, I have decisions here, all right? And I feel like the decision is, you know, I'm at a crossroads, which path do I take here? If you are waiting for this person, I'm just going to say it doesn't look like you are, or at least you've made some changes here to begin moving forward, okay? But somebody here is at a crossroads, all right? And I think that if you are actually waiting for this person, obviously let them go through this time. Um, you don't have to wait. I'm just saying they knew they need to go through this time and through this process for their own growth period They just do all right. Let me see All right spirit. What else can you tell me for my Capricorns? Who's involved in this? Yeah, this is definitely past life. Okay past life connection you guys have probably been together in past lives You may know that there may be a very deep knowing even if you don't know this person very well here Okay, in the 3D, in this lifetime, you could feel very close to them, very connected to them. It could have very much so felt that way very fast, like you can't make it up. Yeah, like this was destiny, like it was meant to be here. There could have been a lot of deja vu moments as well. So this looks to me like a very deep connection. So interestingly enough, what they really, um, what they were the catalyst for, even with you, okay, kind of initiate, well, they didn't initiate it, they just sparked it, right, they awoken you a little bit, or sparked that awakening, and you did the work, is what it looks like to me, and you were willing to make the changes, okay, um, yeah, whatever they did here, in terms of you, it looks like you obviously did it to them, too, so yeah, definitely very deep soul connections, because that's what we do in deep soul connections, we mirror, and boom, we have to start doing our work at some point, or it'll come in very hard and heavy on us if we're if we're not looking at it. All right, and then we have career. So you could have known this person around work. Okay, you could have met them at work. You could have been their boss. They could have been your boss. Okay, you could both be very much so focused on your success, on your advancement in life. Hmm. Yeah, but see, somebody here was behaving like they were non-committal here. And honestly, you guys could have had a kind of casual relationship. Could have been something that you guys met on some kind of online application. Maybe you were talking, uh, something along those lines, but felt, you know, a big connection. Um, maybe you saw each other, whatever. That doesn't even have to be the case. But whatever it was, you felt like you were connected. You felt like it was going somewhere, okay? But there was no commitment here, somebody was definitely acting like this was an open relationship. Yeah, but the truth is, what you felt was accurate, okay? This says true love, all right? Pure love, all right? Honest connection. Hmm, yeah. All right, let's get some tarot here because this is just looking like a, a pretty deep connection to me, to be honest with you. I'm not a person that thinks that you have to sit around and wait on these connections to come back around. Personally, I think that life is to be lived and to be enjoyed. And, um, you know, if anything, you know, you guys definitely have, you've, you've started, I can see your person has started here to awaken here, and you obviously have been awakening as well. So regardless, we got a lot of healing going on here, a lot of growth, and that within itself is very beautiful. All right, let's get these. All right, Spirit, give me, tell me who or what's coming towards my Capricorn Collective, please. Who or what? Nine of Cups. All right, who or what? Maybe somebody that you will feel is wish fulfillment. Yeah, somebody that maybe you've been on a break with here. Somebody that's been trying to gain their own perspective. If you haven't been on a break with them, maybe they've just been trying to glean their own perspective here, okay? I don't even know how that card got in there. That's an extra. <laughs> wow. What is this? Okay, yeah. You may not actually see this coming, okay? This might actually be... You might view this person as a bit mysterious, honestly. Somebody that's... Um, 
that seems to be very connected, I want to say intuitively, the letters B or J might be relevant to you guys here, okay? But I think this is a person that's definitely been manifesting this opportunity with you or trying to manifest this opportunity with you. If it is someone from the past here, which it very well could be here with this Hermit card as well, um, but it doesn't have to be, all right? But if this can represent to me a break, okay? Somebody who's taken a break from a situation, and it is somebody that you feel like is your Nine of Cups. But it could also be just someone who's taken a break, okay, and been trying to gain their own perspective in terms of what it is that they're wanting and really manifest that. So that could this could also be someone who's very spiritual, is what I'm getting, okay? But this whole thing might be quite hidden from you. I, I can almost feel some of you saying it's never going to happen, or I'm moving away, or I'm gone now, or something along those lines, which is great. I mean, obviously, we all have, you know, uh, free will to do whatever it is that we feel like we need to do in a situation. Like I said, every situation is different, and you know if yours is something that can be salvaged, you know, or if you even want that. But somebody here has been manifesting quite a bit. And I'm asking who or what is coming towards you. Yeah, look at that. And they want to have some kind of start with you. Okay, some kind of passionate start with you. I feel like they're very passionate about you, as a matter of fact. Okay. So again, old person, you know, if that's the case, is definitely trying to manifest you, trying to bring you back in. Are trying to, yeah, at least to manifest some kind of opening to come back in, okay, to start a new cycle with you because they want to have some kind of change and whatever was in this in the situation before, all right. I don't know that they're completely ready. Again, you're going to have to figure that out, but it does say here that they're going through some kind of dark night here or maybe going through it. They could all already be through it for all I know here. I just know that this is going to be hidden. Somebody here is really trying to tune into you is what I'm getting though. So maybe you guys have some kind of 5D connection where you're able to talk. Look at this. Complete emotional fulfillment though. This person views you all right, or will as complete emotional fulfillment. Someone who they want a family with. Someone who they love very deeply. Okay. Somebody that they can build with. All right, what about my Capricorns? Where's my Capricorns at right now, Spirit? Show me my Capricorns. Capricorns only. Oh, yeah, so you might. Wow, okay. So even though you're moving on and have become more empowered here, I feel like this has been a big burden for you, honestly. Probably a lot of sadness. You may have been looking at this situation as a missed opportunity. I think I just said that's, that's never going to happen, like it's not going to happen. And that's exactly where your head is, according to the cards, okay? So you don't feel like there's any way that this can come back together, maybe because of what's been done. Or maybe if you guys had a long break, maybe you're just looking at it as it's just a missed opportunity. It's not going to happen. But do you do feel a bit burdened by this situation, I feel like, with this Ten of Wands, okay? Even though you're making the changes, you're obviously trying to move away in this situation. I feel like you feel a bit burdened by that, okay? I don't know if you might need to apologize to this person. Again, take it as it resonates with this Page of Cups energy. Maybe you feel like you want to apologize to this person. Uh, for something, but this the Page of Cups also indicates to me self-love, okay? So maybe you're just pouring a lot of love here into yourself as well and just trying to heal yourself and continue moving forward in this situation. Yeah, look, you got a lot of cards. Your person's all love and manifestation up here and tuning in, okay? It looks to me like you might be a little bit more on the guarded side. Yeah, you're definitely standing your ground. We talked about that up here at the top as well. You're definitely standing your ground when it comes to this situation, okay? Whatever it was left you feeling very sad, maybe a bit vulnerable, certainly quite overwhelmed. This lady's dress is on fire, okay? She doesn't even know because her head is down, kind of looking, you know, she's not even looking out the window, but standing in front of the window, which tells me you might have felt like, you know, there was a lot of drama around this situation or like it just created a lot of upheaval is what I'm feeling in your life here, okay? And that could have also been a reason you said, you know what, I'm going to wash my hands of this because I cannot keep going down that road. Maybe you felt like it was impeding your growth in a sense, impeding, you know, the person, even changing the person that you were, you know what I'm saying? Like you wanted to cut that before that happened. It was definitely invading your energy is what I want to say in a sense. 
Um, and I think it's because this person might, they may have had a bit of a chaotic lifestyle or they may have been doing things that was really very, very challenging uh, to you and to this situation, okay, like disappearing or something. And then we have the Hierophant here, the Ace of Pentacles, and then you got your Six of Cups again, I'm telling you, okay? All right. So this is what I'm getting here. You know, you might be... Maybe you and this person had talked about marriage before. Maybe there were some kind of religious differences as well. Um, you could also be speaking to someone. It could be someone that is, you know, maybe someone that is like a priest, a preacher, or a spiritual teacher, advisor, counselor, or something along those lines here, just trying to get insights. That could also be you, Capricorn. This could be you. This could be part of your whole changing and, and you know, really tapping into your higher self. You could have... You could be a person who's actually sharing your wisdom with other people and helping other people. You could be a healer as well, I just heard, okay? Because I'm definitely seeing that you're moving forward here. You have this Ace of Pentacles as well, all right? Which tells me that you're ready to plant your seed in a new direction. So you, again, I'm gonna go back to the business. You could be really working on your career, okay? Stepping up in your business, getting some kind of advancement, but you are looking to secure, I feel like, um, I don't know, I keep wanting to go back to your stability in some way. You want to make sure that your future, okay, is secured in some sense, but you might actually be investing in something is what I'm getting here. Again, it could be a business. You could have started an online business. You can actually have uh, a business. I guess you could be, even be an investor in some sense. Something like that. This is a startup, though, is what I'm getting here. But I think it's this is it's almost like I don't know if you're trying to occupy your time to get through this, or I think you're just trying to take a step in the right direction, is what I'm getting here. Okay, and I think that's going to work out for you. But the thing is, with the Six of Cups here, I'm getting that maybe you want to go back to easier times here. Um, let me look at this card because she is actually standing now. See, I think your mind is still in the past. I'm going to be honest with you. This girl in this particular uh, card is standing. It looks to me like in an alleyway. She's really looking down. So although she's moving forward here very clearly, she's kind of looking down. Very somber, I would say. Okay, so I think you're taking the steps. You're standing your ground. You're not willing to go back or at least deal with the things that were being given to you before, however. Uh, and so you are taking steps to move forward here to really thrive. Um, but I also feel that your mind is still, still very much so focused on the past here, okay? And, and the Seven of Swords tells me that you're not really showing anybody that. Now, I see somebody here also it looks like they're on a stage here. So you might actually be on a stage. I don't know if you're a performer, if you have some kind of online presence or something along those lines, but um, you know, I, I guess you could be famous as well for that matter. Something is definitely going on here, but I feel like you're definitely, you're being very strategic here. She's also holding, okay, she's holding a rose. I thought she was holding an apple. Yeah, she's also holding a rose in one hand. Now, if you're the one making this, if this is an apology for real and you're making that, I don't think so, though, because you're really standing your ground here. But if you are, if this is you, I could see you being strategic in the way that you're approaching that. But what I really think is that you're being strategic, kind of moving forward, Okay even though you still seem to be focused a bit on the past here. So give me an outcome spirit for my Capricorns, please. What's the outcome in this situation for my Capricorns? Well, you got a King of Pentacles here. I mean, that could be you too. And the, <laughs> wow. And the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, you might may be very very well dealing with another earth sign here. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Yeah. So if this is not who you're dealing with, you're definitely maybe you were dealing with someone who's also like you, very career focused. We talked about that earlier, very successful. 
uh, in their own right, really driven, you know, usually for, you know, nice things. They like to have the creature comforts in life, the nice things. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, which is very nurturing, very loving. That could be you as well. Um, or you could be the King of Pentacles here. Look at that. The, look at this. Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Wow, hopefully you like this outcome here. Look at this. Wow. But look, then we have the tower as well. Three of cups. Hmm. All right. I think the outcome is going to be that you're going to have a conversation here. It looks to me like you might have two people. This is an actual couple, okay, as we know on the board here. We do have a pair here, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Two people coming together and talking about perhaps building all right, investing in each other, uh, wanting to build together, wanting to work together. We have the Three of Pentacles here, which is also about contracts, okay? So it may even lead, we also have this other hair font here as well, so it may lead to some kind of contract, okay? I guess it could be working together or maybe, you know, living together, buying a home together, um, having a business together. I don't know why I keep saying that. I feel like you're both very driven people for some reason. Um, yeah. But I think this is going to come perhaps out of nowhere. All right, so maybe somebody proposes this to you or maybe you propose this to them. Okay. That was already there. Yeah. Whatever it is, I think it's going to come completely out of the blue. I think it's going to, it's very much so going to be about tearing down those old foundations that didn't work. Okay. And rebuilding on something. Wow. Look at this card that's more solid, right? Building solid foundations, really forming things the right way this time. Maybe some things were missed the last time and I think it has to do with people not really being who they really were, okay? So maybe wearing a lot of masks, but really looking to have a very strong structure in this sense. And the last card is all about celebrations. It's about coming together. It's about celebrations. It's about um, enjoyment, going out, you know, that sort of thing. So that's what the outcome is going to be whether this is you kind of moseying off to a new person or this just being you and this person actually coming together that's what the outcome definitely is we get one more card for the outcome here spirit yeah oh wow yeah judgment yeah i mean honestly that's exactly what it is this is you know this is a reconciliation that's in judgment normally we would see the clarion call right uh, resurrecting something bringing something back together it's like you know all of the all of the dark shadows all of the things that were interfering you know which could have been the mind could have been the lack mentality mindset could have been the self-sabotage all right, that's been broken down and now everything has been revived again. That is the judgment call. So definitely a reconciliation. Okay, of someone in the past. I'm just going to get these and then we're going to close it out. I want to get some messages from this person just to see uh, what this person, what would they want to say to my Capricorns? Yeah, suddenly all the songs I hear are about you. Okay, I definitely feel this person's deep in their thoughts and even very romantic when it comes to you. All right, you can see right here again how he's just kind of embracing her, at least thinking about embracing her. And it, by the way, flip it up as it needs to be. This doesn't have to be a male and female. This could be anyway. I'm a masculine though and a feminine energy in that picture. Or in that card. What else, spirit? honest they want to be honest with you they want to talk to you i think about maybe what happened but also about their feelings okay i don't even know that this person necessarily wanted to be in an open relationship I almost feel like they were playing it cool for some reason it says you're hard to forget whatever there might have been some games too though honestly because i almost feel like you kind of just packed i don't know if you literally packed but i think you closed the door Okay, and walked in a different direction. It does say, I'm afraid to trust. See, that's been their issue. That was their issue before here. And it has everything to do with what was done to them, I feel like, in the last big relationship that they had. All right, this person may have been one that's just been kind of moving around. Could have been from person to person. I'm just looking for validation is what I want to say. Um, because they did get hurt so bad. 
And I and I, I'm going to be honest with you. Not to, this definitely not taking their side because everybody's got to be a, accountable for their actions, right? Uh, but they had to learn. They definitely learned the hard way. So please, you know, you definitely, you definitely, I, I, I want to say sparked, okay? I think that's always the right word. You sparked some kind of wake-up call for this person, okay, for sure. But I think this has been long-standing. This could have been their last relationship, like I said, but whatever it was, I feel like someone was almost cruel to them, all right? I regret how I handled things before. Yes, they definitely do. And they said that, I remember everything that you said to me. See, old flames. They know that this is a past life a connection or one that they feel is past life, even if they don't put a label on it, okay? And we saw that here as well. They know that you've been together before, that you've been in love before. They can feel, I think, the strength of that connection. Yeah. All right, Capricorn, that's what I have for you guys. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you. If it does, please don't forget to hit the like button. I will see you guys the next time. Bye, Capricorn.